everyone, welcome back. This is part four of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I uh, had a bit of issues there with my drinking shit and it reset it and also that's why we're a bit late. I did say I would be live about half seven, it's been ten and minutes, but that's fine. We're live. Anyway, uh, so last time I'm pretty sure we had just achieved our two star ranking. Having gone out and done some more work in the field, I think we actually completed a dex entry or two. No, I think just the one. But anyway, that meant we were able to actually get the next sort of main proper mission. Which is what we're going to do today. Yeah, so uh, head to the Salusian ruins found in the Crimson Mirelands to meet Kalaba for the mission Arezu's Predicament. Yonder. First. Oh, hello, Gareth. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. Oh, it's time for a fight. Let's have a fine battle so I can grow closer with Pikachu. Oh, yeah, you have a Pikachu. Survey Corps at Akari challenge you to battle. Start with Mayim Jr. Start with <laughs> Big Beberel. Yeah, go for a short tail, so we much better. Anyone else would be monumentally suicidal to send out, so we'll start with Luxio. Finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. Hell yeah. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Still spray. Ooh, nice. So I've been working on studying those strange space time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? You mean the one I fell through? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. 
Now I tend to head to the Myrlands camp. But first. Don't cross the bridge. You there. Uh, yes, take that one. Oh, no, no, I don't want to. Uh, you know what? Give me the, give me the haunted, haunted balloon. No, that's only level three. Don't give me the haunted balloon. Uh, don't give me any of these, actually. Uh, some of you are good. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I might just keep an empty space, to be honest. I'm just gonna keep an empty space. Yeah. That's fine. Yes, I am back to my survey work. Back on my bullshit, as you might say. Anyway, here we go. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. So we are going here. To the Crimson Mire Lads. Which I think is new. I don't think we've done that yet. So that's fun. Ooh, very nice. Crimson Mire Lads. Here we are, my boy, the Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokémon, and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Gareth. If you're looking for the Salatian Ruins, they're off that way. You can... okay, that way. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It, would, it sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokémon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokémon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. Be, be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokémon are giving you trouble, I s suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zizu teach your Pokémon some strong moves. What uh, requests do we currently have? So, still haven't done that. Uh, complete the Pokedex entry for Krikatot. Complete the Pokedex entry for Cherim. Crafted Pokeshi doll. Catch the mysterious red will o' the wisp on windswept run at night. Gather the wisps in the Hisui region. Okay, got a whole bunch of requests. For now, let's just pop aboard you. Oh, it's side up. Oh, you need the bottom. No, just you were at the edge of the water. Why did you drown? Imbecile. I'll go around. Use the bridge. Oh, you. Yep. Yep. That's about right. Okay, we'll get across the bridge. Position, I imagine. Little big leafy head. I am Caliber of the Pearl Clan. Warden Caliber to you. Oh, now, you, would you look at that? You have a Celestic afloat. I do. You must be the only one. You must be the one they say fell out of the space time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What did you what you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady that young lady, Arezu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay. 
I mean, I'm, I'm the protagonist. Ah, Gareth, why would you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Sure. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. Okay. I love if he didn't really help, so let's go have a battle. It's Bolo. It's Bolo. It's Bolo. It's Bolo. It's the Robbie out there. Why not? Decided. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Hell yeah, and those that survived, levels up. Such prodigious strength. Now, let me just heal up your Pokemon. Oh, thank you. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Salatian ruins and made off of a fragment of the wall engravings. Uh -huh. Have you not heard of the mis Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have. Let me tell you. Mistress Calabo is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old. It's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Also, she's a big fat hole. Okay. So, what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swipe my wares too. And I'm no Ginkgo Guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious, precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Meyerlands camp. Perhaps worth checking out? Perhaps. Perhaps. Track down the shitty bandits to reclaim the wall fragment they stole.
here. It's a burned out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Well done. Sherlock. Now who might you be? Not some stray traveller from the look of you. But uh, There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be on I'll be your unlucky char. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. In the, I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Oh damn, dramatic. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Miss Fortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Oh, well. Okay, we'll tell you how. Smaller than I thought it would be. Let's draw this post. Also used to this hefty. fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing the fields for Galaxy Team. Uh, once again, everyone but Vivarel levels up. Hmm. The Galaxy Team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Uh, we've put up much of a fight. There are three of you. Wall fragment. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Silesian ruins. It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why, are you, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh, I want to help for Saluna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Oh god, we're looking the same line regardless. Okay, I say it. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us? Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, that the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool! No shit. I have made an enemy. Okay. To the ruins! That's the full fucking count. Good 
Good work. Very good work indeed, Gareth. You built the fragment bag safe and sound. I'm well aware of Calaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's the, given the Pearl Clan all she has, ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan, or the Galaxy Team, rather. I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursulina's frenzy, Gareth. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good business, I assure you. Good for this attempt. What if I give you a giant Beberel as a gift? No. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. Uh, the small fragment? You looking for this? What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way for like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm Ursaluna, hmm? That's right. What I do. I'll admit, I didn't expect anyone else, anybody else, to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. She just drops it. Oh shit. It's unknown. And there we go. Good as new, except for the cracks. All lives touch other lives to. Create something anew and alive. Let me read what it says. Okay, I'm just doing a supplement thing there. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. Had you not read this before? Like I, what? I've read this. Okay, there we go. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. What is your name then, boy? I see. Gareth. Please, lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokémon in battle. But that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Ooh, sludge Mound. Sounds delightful. Head to Sludge Mound. Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. That's hilarious, kind of horrifying. No, 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 don't crouch, run, run, run. Sludge mind. Over here, Gareth. Yes, I saw you. Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Flute. Now it's the same thing that summons Weirdo. Well, that's fucking sweet. Can I catch it? Rawr. Now show me your metal. Show your metal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. What if I do anyway? It's a big fucking bear. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Beverell's dead. Okay. Oh, fuck it. That was Okay, uh, give me a... Wow. 
gonna, I'm not gonna lie. We might not be ready for this. They're dead. We'll save Boisel for last. Because he has the super effective move. And we'll see if we get lucky with some uh, bikes. See if we get some bridges. for a couple of agile aqua jets. again with a stronger team of Pokemon. Okay. I had something, I needed to do something with the hippos, I just remember it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Inspiration from Hippotopus. Catch a male and female Hippotopus. I do have, do I have those? I do, good. Right, you there. I'm obviously not going to catch the giant one. Be silly. So you're a female. Let's try and get you from behind. Just make my life a bit easier. There we go. So that is a female. Just need to find a boy. I have not a boy. Consume you. There we are. Do the same thing. Catch another hippo. Likely devilish Seymour. Let's do that. So let's just get ourselves another hippo. Hopefully. Nope. It's alright, we're almost in the middle. Oh, somebody's angry. He's angry. Oh, what's up? Uh, oh, there appears to 
To battle! Actually, we don't, I don't know if we needed to actually catch three, because I think the, uh, the person who wanted to see a female and a male just wanted to see them. So we might have been fine there. But anyway, uh, let us go to the camp. something stuck to you. Oh. Oh. It's an egg. Huh. Is that a Pokemon? Come think of it, Volu did mention that there were carvings in it that resembled writing on the walls of the Salacian ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. It just happens to resemble the English language. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokédex, Gareth. More work, thank you. Unknown notes. We're added to your Pokédex. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added? Um, was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of the Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them. But track them down and catch them all if you can. Come on. Catch em. Em all. It's literally the thing. Anyway, Lavington. Yes, uh, let's report. Why not? Hooray! Right, back to the village, we'll give the people that have the things they can do. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Hmm, hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Delightful. Now that gets us taken over. So, what would you like to do now? Uh, to the village! some new styles in stock. Please feel free to have a look. What can I help you with, hon? How about your request? I can't. Pop. Pop. Next, I'd like to see a female hippotamus. And pop. And pop. Wah! I never thought just a change in colour would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. That's definitely inspired me. Give me just one moment. I'm going to get some brown and yellow camo. Please have a look at the newest entries to my shop's lineup. Because, I mean, I'll go for some brown and yellow camo. Um, let's have a look. So, just got the flat caps. I'm not selling old-timey newspapers. We could go for... Oh, that's just I thought we were going to have to 
pulled out the thing. Uh, is that the chief you say? No. Right? Let's see. The minnows, you said it before. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's I'm guessing the uh, the inspiration. Okay. There's some cool things here. Fancy canoe. Treasures. Okay. Now, karate gi. If there's a karate gi thing. We have done the uh, the request. I shall. So the next one was plowing fields. So we have here. We're going to give them one of our hypotheses. We're assuming it's grindy, didn't actually check. Grind type Pokemon I can borrow? I certainly do. You can have the weaker one. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Absolutely. I have two more. Yes, your your Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wow we, it's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? I don't know. A pot of this magic. And seems we're done here. What a trooper. Indeed. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give me a haul give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. I, I don't feel like swapping plowing partners really. Okay, so that's that bit done. So we'll go. Give it a go with the Hippodobus since it's level 23. Or we will go and do some other stuff and try and level everyone else up. I don't know. I don't know. We'll give it a go with Hippodobus and see, see how we do. Because, like, we got close with uh, the team as was. So I feel like we might get there. So we'll go back to here. Camp. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, here. Oh shit. Route. Okay, so the, the day night cycle has 
turned. Another g -g -g ghosts. Also, still jacked. I'll ignore that. Uh, what's your deal? <laughs> Malder. What's up? Hello there. So you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help with setting up our new base camp? We're making one up by the bogs. Our Odo sure could use someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corps recruit, still learning the ropes. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. Busy. There we go. Let's try this again. Rawr. Now show your metal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan, and will not permit you to catch him. Again, what exactly are you going to do about it? Try. I'm not going to. The hero. Oh shit, I started with Apollos. And that's fine. He dualizes me. Okay. So let's do a big old bite. Strong style. That was terrible. Yes, we can survive. Okay, let's try a mud bomb. Good. I feel like we're not going to get a different result. Well, the collab is a bit stronger now. On the basis of it now being a collab. Beverell yet? We'll come to Beverell last. Stravia, thank you. Actually, no, Beverell has a super effective. <laughs> He's a giant. So give me the strong style rock smash. <laughs> Hell yeah! Big diversal limit. Beverell has mastered a move. What's up? Ursaluna, my poor darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. Come. Let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursula's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxigon! Blah. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've come down now, haven't you? Hey, big guy. Sun's getting real low. This is all very strange, though. It wasn't really frenzied. I'm very astute of you, Galaxy Team recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? Seems like some kind of powder. Cocaine. 
That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu. Now, why does she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Luna opened up his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. He received the Earth Plate from Ursaluna. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of the Earth. When used on a certain Pokémon, it allows that Pokémon to gain the power of ground type. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what has transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Burr. Three bird. Oh, probably Ursula. You can now call Ursulina and dig for treasure. Ursulina will rush toward any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure when Ursulina finds a spot that makes him particular re react particularly strongly. You might find something very nice. Oh, I have to. I'm just gonna ride him because he's a fucking giant bear. Oh, there it is. go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a request for you if you've got some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Roselia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? Sure. A beautiful rose. Do you have anything to talk to the professor? Sure. I see. Most limited, indeed. Nice. To the village! Righto. Back we go. Hey, you. Use my microphone. Akari, there you are. You'd better hurry to the commander's office. Going there anyway. You you slowed me down. If anything.
have a situation here. I forgot what I voice said. You bet me when it wasn't that. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. And Arezu knowingly kept this from me. Did you what? Yes, there are only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mocking. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the Raging Ursa Luna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Is worth something like that. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? Hmm. Turn dramatic. We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you've put in to get us to treat one another as equals, to keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Gareth, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation. I could call Ursaluna? My magic flute? Ursaluna? So he and the he and Warden Kalava found a way where found you worthy. That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arezu, wherever she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligant's friendly as well. I'll head to Lilligant's seat, then. Bravo Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, guys. You must quell any Pokémon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. And wear jackets over our shoulders. Ride on Ursula and follow the blue signals to sniff out Arezu in the Crimson Marlins. First, somebody was down here. Also, half the Pokémon were dead. Ursula. Investigate. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Playing with Drifloon. So several people spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from Security Corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. Playing with Drifloon. Okay. And Zubat's eyes. Clarissa from the Security Corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, if you please. Okay. There are no other requests. Neat. children or floats them to their death. Something like that. Oh, you just your right away. Miki, what's up? So, you've accepted my request to look into that Drifloon. I can't tell you what, what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We've heard reports that a Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Pymoot Beach in the evenings. This seemed like odd behaviour for a Pokemon, so all of us in the Security Corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. Sure. Oh, the Drifloon. Let's just mark that on the old map. Here, okay, so it's still on there. Uh, so, where is it? Uh, Primitive Beach, that's here. Park by the school, park by the... yeah. I mean, 
since obviously it's going to be a ghost child. Were I to guess. Which it will. It's a ghost child. Oh, also a wisp. I haven't actually found one of those since we got the first one. There's Garden Beach. Wisp. Remember, if you see a random floating flame, just reach your hand right into it. There are five wisps to remove in this area. Okay, uh, the floon. until the next evening. Survey Corps guy, over here! I am. Um, I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. Can you help me, please? Uh, sure. Can do. Grrrp. Woo! What did I do? Yay! Now I can finally go home! But hey, um, Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taggy. See you around, Survey Car Boy. Car Boy. Hmm. Interesting. Report back to Miki with the findings. Uh, we'll just run. We will just run on this occasion. So I'm going to assume either they don't know Ataki, or Taki's been dead for five years. Ooh, let's see. I see you've been looking into that worrisome Drifloon for us. What have you found out? We've got a ghost child. I see, so little Taki was trying to keep... Ah, oh, okay, he's just lying about having spot up. That's also... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, from getting into trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloon would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Zizu to post extra security corps guards out on Highland Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful that the situation was, resol was resolved without any harm. Thank you, truly, for helping us keep everyone safe. That's what I do. Have some dust. Hooray! Okay, we'll go... Sell the Stardust, because I'm pretty sure that's just a sell item. What's, what's going on here? Is this a thing? Show. What's the Yeah, okay. No, I thought you were doing something to Waka. I don't know, you're just standing behind him as he ponders the river. Maybe some sort of gold. Uh, shopkeep, shopkeep, shopkeep! Do Pawa stocks of hearty grains. Oh, Pawa man. Sell more than anything to be honest. So, where's the Stardust? Oh, I've got three of those. Do I? Uh, let's do 
some more balls, to be honest. Also figured out where to go to save rather than just always saving your place. You just do it there. All right. Always learning. So that was part four of Point No Landing Zarkis. We uh, calmed a bear, which is always a good thing. And now we're going to use said bear to track a woman down. As you do. So we'll come back to that in a few days' time. I will be back tomorrow night. That will be with. I think we're back round to Arkham City. I think. Sure, let's go with that. We'll go with Arkham City. Just so that there's always something in between, so we're not doing like two Pokemon in a row. And right now it's Arkham City and Wrestling Empire. And I feel like the last stream was Wrestling Empire, so that would make sense to be Arkham City then. And who knows, we might even finish uh, the Hardy's Revenge DLC tomorrow night, which would then bring us back round to Bioshock 2, which would be timely because we've just announced a Bioshock Netflix series. Wonderful. So yes, uh, I will see you for that. Hopefully. Unless you're looking for the Pokemon stuff, which is fair enough. Then I'll see you in a few days' time, either for more Brilliant Diamond or more of this. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.